Hey, welcome to Geek Mag and today we are going to talk about Secure Boot and everything that you should know about this incredibly useful security standard. Before we dive deep, let's first understand what Secure Boot really is. It's a security feature that makes sure that a device only boots up if the software is trusted by the original manufacturer. Secure Boot relies on the UEFI firmware and it ensures that every bit of code that runs on the machine is digitally signed by a certificate authority. Platform keys are used to verify these digital signatures and they are stored in the Secure Boot database. The reason why Secure Boot is so important these days is that it prevents the system from malicious or non-certified bootloaders, boot kits and root kits. It basically secures the machine at the ground level. It also stops malware from hijacking or taking control of the system and also prevents piracy. Okay, now that we know what Secure Boot really is, let's check if your system already has Secure Boot enabled or not. For that, go to search and type system information. Open the top result and scroll down until you find the Secure Boot state. If it shows that the feature is on, then congrats, your device is already secured. However, if it shows off, like in my case, then you'll need to go to your BIOS and enable it. Also, it's important to make sure whether your motherboard supports Secure Boot in the first place. For that, you'll need to know your motherboard's name or model number. You can find this in the same system information page. Once you find that, simply search whether it supports Secure Boot. If it does, then you can proceed with the next steps. But before we get to that, we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Please consider subscribing to the channel so we can continue making such content. While enabling Secure Boot does not lead to any kind of data loss, there are cases where hardware incompatibilities may cause the system to be stuck on a black screen or not boot into Windows at all. This is why you should try this at your own risk and make sure that you have an online backup for safety. Also note that the steps that we are going to show you should work exactly the same for Windows 10 and 11. Enabling Secure Boot will also help you complete the requirements to play games like Valorant, FIFA and more. Now to get to the BIOS, restart your system and when the motherboard logo appears, you'll see the key that lets you enter the BIOS. In my case, it's the delete key. Click it repeatedly when you are on the motherboard screen and you should reach the BIOS. If nothing shows up on your motherboard logo screen, then you can search for the BIOS key for your particular motherboard manufacturer. Once you've entered the BIOS, let's find Secure Boot. As I'm running a Gigabyte motherboard, you'll see the steps for the same. However, these steps will be different for each company. For Gigabyte, all you have to do is go to BIOS settings and find CSM support. For you, this option can be found under Boot, Security or some other settings. So please explore a little until you find this feature. Now disable CSM support. Once you do that, you'll be able to see the option for Secure Boot. However, you cannot enable it yet. First, go to Save and Exit and click Save and Exit Setup. This will restart your PC. Once again, when you reach the motherboard logo, repeatedly click the BIOS key to enter it again. Now, if you go back to the same Secure Boot feature, you'll be able to turn it on. Click Enabled and then Save and Exit Setup. That's it, you've turned on Secure Boot. Here are the instructions to enable Secure Boot for various popular motherboard manufacturers. If Windows boots up correctly, then everything went well and you can go back to system information and check whether Secure Boot is enabled. However, in case of incompatibilities, the OS may not boot at all. To fix that, sadly the only option is to go back to the BIOS and revert the changes that we just made. Some of you might ask whether you can enable Secure Boot without going into your BIOS. 
While there are some articles that claim that this can be done, the majority agree that you cannot enable the feature without going into the BIOS. This is because Secure Boot isn't controlled by Windows and actually works at the grassroots level of the device. We hope that this video was helpful. If it was, then please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching.